What's up, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Dear De La Ghetto. I'm actually over here at my girl's house in Canada right now. Oh, there she is right there. Isn't she cute? Her fam is gone. She's at work. So, you know, I've been going through her drawers, sniffing her panties, trying to find old love letters, that type of shit. But, can't find any good stuff. Meh. And if you're a new subscriber, this is the segment where I answer questions from the people and I give you that real advice. That real shit, son! First question. Dear De La Ghetto, I'm a rising sophomore in high school and my chest is larger than most of the other girls in my school. Guys say I have a great personality, but I just feel really insecure about my body. I'm really worried my chest affects the way people treat me. What should I do? Too many curves. Well, too many curves. You know, girls always got this problem where they're never satisfied, you know, and I understand. The girls with little titties are like, oh my god, I wish I had some bigger titties so it would look good in this little sweater from Forever 21. And the girls with the big titties are like, oh my god, I got these big titties, all these boys keep staring at my titties. Oh, they only love me because of my big old titties, they can't even look me in the eye. I know it's probably difficult for you right now, your body's already going through changes, high school sucks, you're already insecure, you got boys staring at your titties all the time, you got boys standing there during PE watching you jog, watching your big old beautiful luscious breasts bounce all over the place, I know, it's hard. And the fact is, everybody's insecure in high school, you know what I'm saying? Some people got pimples, some people are too short, some girls got no booties, and they want the, to have booties, and the girls with the big booties think they're too fat, and they want the little booties. No one's really satisfied, we're all just a big insecure mess in high school, you know? And you worry that guys only like you because you're big, voluptuous, tasty, plentiful boobies. Well. Dudes are gonna be perverts in high school no matter what. Dudes are gonna be perverts forever, you know what I'm saying? And you're gonna have to deal with guys that only wanna get physical and you're gonna deal with nice guys too. That's all kind of a part of growing up. We're all insecure and guys are all horny bastards, all right? So what you can do now is just kind of be happy that you've been blessed with something that a lot of girls pay thousands of dollars for. That doesn't mean you have to show them off all the time, but that doesn't mean you have to be super insecure about them either, you know what I'm saying? But even though all guys are disgusting, dirty perverts, there will be some guys too who will like you not only for your big voluptuous breasts, but also for what's underneath your big voluptuous breasts as well. Okay? Dear Dale Ghetto, there's this girl I would really like to start a relationship with, but I keep getting mixed signals. I'm 18 and I'm looking for something serious, not just getting in her pants. I message her on Facebook and she seems excited, but then um, she leaves the conversation abruptly without saying goodbye or goodnight. She just logs off. Sometimes when I'm in the middle of typing something. We have gone on two dates and I want to ask her to be my girl. Um, is that too soon? Should I wait or confront her about this kind of thing? I'm worried that she may take it the wrong way and that she may lose interest. Much love, a big fan. A big fan, first of all, if you're 18, bro, you should not be looking for a serious relationship, man. You are fresh out of high school. For the first time in your life, you are illegally a man. Do you really want to hop into some hardcore relationship already? You are just now figuring out who you are. You're about to go to college. You're about to, like, you know, um, really kind of start to discover who you are as an individual and you do not want to be uh, wrapped around some girl because you think you should be in love right now. Now is the time to go to college, have fun, go to parties, get to know all types of people, you know what I'm saying? Just soak in life, bro. Life is just starting right now, you know what I'm saying? Forget the Dawson's Creek lovey bullshit. Exhale all that out and inhale that good life, bro. It's out there for you, waiting for you to sink your dirty little fingernails into. Secondly, if she leaves the conversation abruptly without saying goodbye or goodnight, she is not feeling you, okay? You probably some creeper ass dude who keeps hitting her up on Facebook when she's trying to flirt with some boy and you keep giving her these messages and she's like, ah ha ha, oh my God, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, let's hang out. Oh my God, what a creep. Leave her alone, bro, because it doesn't seem like she likes you. And second, you should definitely not ask her to be your girlfriend after two dates, Especially if she doesn't even like you. And look, she's. And should you confront her? Are you crazy? This is why you need to be not in a relationship and you need to be learning some shit about the world and yourself because you don't know what's going on right now. Do you I get oh? I'm gonna just jump into this. My girlfriend, I'm also a girl, have been going out for quite some time and she's ready to move in to the next level. But I know that when I skate, I get uncommonly tired and sleepy and almost immediately fall into a stupor. I want to know uh, if you have any tips on how to keep awake after coming. <laughs> Please do share. Dedicated loyal fan, stupid sleeper. Well, stupid sleeper, first of all, um, you're a lesbian and that's hot. Uh, second, 
Secondly, why do you even want to stay awake? I feel like when you put somebody to sleep after some good sex, that's like you did a good job. You accomplished a good thing, right? So you skeet, she skeets, we all skeet for ice ski. No, but I mean, if, if everyone's getting sleepy, then that means it was it was a good little session, right? And if you're still awake, then, you know, whatever. Go get some juice or make a sandwich or, you know, check your Facebook. I, I, don't, I don't think you have a problem here. But if you really want to stay awake after your little licky licky session, you know, why don't y'all, you know, why don't you pour some Red Bull into her cooch and, and lick it off or, you know, shove a five hour energy up there and then slurp it up. And then after it, you'll be like, whoa, I'm ready to go. Do you doubt I ghetto? I'm a 19 year old full time student up in Northern California and my girlfriend is moving down to Southern California in a couple of weeks with her family. We've been together for three years, we're in a serious relationship. Um, I wanted to know what is your advice on maintaining a successful long distance relationship? Thanks. Just, just, just don't eat X3. All right, just, just don't eat X3. Um, I get this question a lot now because, you know, my girlfriend is in Canada and I am in California, uh, you know, 562 310. Long Beach, LA, Paramount, Killer Cali, West Side Till I Die, all day. To be honest, I never thought I would be in a long distance relationship ever. I actually used to be um, anti that. I used to advise against it. I just felt like they would never work and I would need to have that physical contact every day for it to work for me, you know? But with this girl, you know, I just kind of felt like I, I really, she was worth it, you know what I'm saying? Like whatever sacrifices I had to make, whatever distances I had to travel, as corny as it sounds, I just, she was worth it to me, you know? I honestly feel like I will never meet anybody um, that will be as dope and as good for me as she is. So I felt like I needed to make this work. So we've been together for about like six months officially now and we're probably um, dating, talking for like a, a year or so before that. And um, you know, it's just a lot of like, I, I would be out here like every month or I would fly her out to LA like every month or so. It always helps to try and see each other as much as possible. Of course, you gotta be willing to both make an effort and really put in that time and, and effort. I said effort twice, but that's what it takes. A lot of effort on both parties to really see each other, you know? Second, you just, you have to trust each other. Like, you need to trust each other or else it's never gonna work. You can't be in a long distance relationship if you are insecure or jealous at all because it's just gonna fuck with your mind. You're gonna be like, oh my God, what is she doing? Who is she with? What is she wearing? Why hasn't she texting me back? Is she sucking some dude off right now? Is she getting her nipple licked? What is going on? And especially with me being over here doing these videos with girls and I'm shooting this shit and I have a lot of girlfriends, like, you know, you need to trust each other or else you're just gonna be paired Paranoid and it's just gonna mess everything up in the relationship and of course sometimes people are gonna get a little insecure and paranoid and you just gotta really make sure you reassure that person be like hey baby I love you I know I did a video with this girl but on everything you are so much better she's whack her nose is crooked her tits are floppy you are so beautiful you are my everything I love you no one else compares you need to do that sometimes and lastly you know just try and communicate as much as possible you know of course it's hard you can't see each other you can't touch each other but you know me and her we're texting all the time um, you know to the point where our friends are annoyed but we have to you know what I'm saying and if we're not texting you know we have the Skype session and you know I take my junk out I'm jerking my shit <laughs> but to summarize you got to put in that time you got to trust each other and you have to communicate all right so good luck to you bro as for me I'm gonna wait for my chick to come home from work you know I'm gonna get butt naked lay down on this couch make her a little sandwich give her a little booty massage get the bubble bath going you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the royal penis is clean, your highness. Thank you. King shit. They don't understand my style. They tell me that I'm stuck in the van.